Definitely, definitely not. These companies are not paying you as artists what you need to do. Yeah, not, not at all. Not, not at all. The, str- the streams, like, I don't know if you see peep my streams on like any of the any of the platforms, but like, I got you know some pretty decent numbers and. And that shit ain't bringing in, but like two hundred. You know what I'm saying? Two hundred, may, maybe a, a not even a month. You know what I'm saying? It's like one seventy five to two hundred a month. My my um my album been growing backwards. Like my first month was my worst month, and every month since then been a better better month for the album. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like my shit. My first month, I pro- I probably had like. Nine dollars in my shit, you know. So it kind of got the King Perry, just King Perry alone, off the streams like nine dollars. Second month, fifty dollars. Third month was the was that was when shit started. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, uh, I can't remember what happened. Somebody somebody posted my oh, uh, La Russell, you know La Russell, yeah yeah, 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 he posted my shit, and then it's like yo, I start I start thinking like yo, has my shit been hot? Or like niggas just needed to hear it or what? You know what I mean? Because I was like, yo, because when I was making the album, I'm, I told myself like, yo, this is gonna be a joint, yo. This is like a classic joint. You feel it? It got a classic feel, but at the same time, it's mine. So it's me saying it. But then I was just starting to doubt it after that first month. I'm like, man, I thought it was gonna go crazier than this. The people who listened loved it, but not a lot of people was listening. Yeah. But once people started listening, everybody started listening. I noticed too. People will listen to your shit cause they, cause somebody who they fuck with listen to it. You know what I mean? They don't even gotta know if it's hot or not. They gonna check it out and find out based off somebody saying that oh this shit was hot. But it can't be anybody though. Like, it can't be you. It can't be me. It can't be none of the homies. It gotta be a La Russell or a Rory or or a, or a Knife Wonder. Cause every time when Knife Wonder when Knife Wonder posted my shit, hey, by all of a sudden like people who know me from the town like. They been knew who I was, but they acting like now they. I think it was La Russell who posted you. Yeah, yeah. And I, it and I was like, "Yo, hold on, he from Rochester? What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. And I was like, because yo, but also it could be that it's not being pushed. You know, we live in Buffalo and Rochester. I feel like it's just, we one in the same. We an hour away, but we one in the same. It's crabs in the bucket. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's trying to fight to get out of the the slums of. Buffalo and Rochester, and we're like, right, we right, right. But everybody else is trying to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So everybody else is talking shit instead of building everybody up. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't want to go. Like podcasts don't want to go and have a bunch of local people on it. Why? Because is that gonna build you? No, only in the town. Word, word. But I do it because I want to push the names. Like, Facts. I know people who live in mad different states, so. Once somebody pushes it and they see you and they realize the potential and sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes it's just going through the rabbit hole and you find somebody and you're yeah. like, yo, damn. Hey, what's going on, folks? It is me. It is I. I am him. It is Space Cadet. And I got to stop the podcast real quick to talk to you guys about the Struggle Compound. Struggle Compound is located at 2 four zero zero Seneca Street suite number five right on the border of West Seneca and Buffalo the struggle compound is a collective of multiple businesses who are all hustlers entrepreneurs and creatives struggle compound is a recording studio a barber shop film and photography ladies the struggle compound has you covered too with exclusive extensions by Lele Jones and the lace effect also, if you need to get some clothes, and right before you go out, come stop through. They got Buffalo's own family trappers, struggle clothing, and much more. And shout out to the new business, Sleek, that just stopped up in here. Come get you some Sleek clothing today. And lastly, folks, 
you can stop here and come see the Spaced Out Podcast and Rep Room. If you're looking to get your podcast done, if you're looking to get some film photography, some drone work, Rev Room's got you covered. Who is this? Yeah. Like, yeah. that's what was happening with me. It was like, Word. I'm just clicking. And I'm like, listening to people, people posting. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. This shit fire. And it's not even who posted it. It's, yo, this shit fire. And I'm Word. Like, okay, let me go see. And then yeah. I was like, oh, shit, this is fire. Word. And then I go to work. And I, I go, yo, do y'all know, uh, how do you say the name? How do you say it? La Russell? No, no, your name. Negus. Negus. So I was yeah. saying, right, Negus, I rap. And yeah, yeah. yo, everybody, we started off way too early, but it is me, it is I, I am him, it is Space Cadet, you are now tuned into the Space Out podcast. Are we live right now? Yeah, we've been Oh, live. shit, that's tough. Um, Word. We got Negus, I rap in the building from Rochester. So uh, y'all tap in. If y'all know, you're about to find out today. Yeah. Yo, I like that too. Like, it's, it, you have to do something to separate yourself too. Yeah, yeah. So people know who it is when they're coming on because people are like, oh, they sound like this, they sound like that. Nah, you got your own sound though. Right. It's fire. I was like, yo, this kid is fire. But you do, you have mannerisms in your raps of people. Like, I think of when you're, you're rapping as like Lupe Fiasco or, uh, man. Who else did I say? Oh, Andre 3000. Or, like, yo, I was like, oh, this kid got his <laughs> Yo, bro, I, I, it's, it's crazy. Yo. That's two of my favorite people. I never got the comparisons, though. I, that's two of my favorite people right there, though. Yeah, I was like, so that, that. Like, that's hard. Like, because it's, it's funny how, like, you can really use pieces and bits of people and not, like, but unconsciously. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like they just there because this is what you study. You know what I mean? Yep. So that's hard. That's hard. Yeah. I'm waiting for I think I've seen people posting like who you should collab with one of the people I think is Jay Skis Jay Skis oh word yeah 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 yeah, I think that, that would be, be a tough. super fire collaboration word word yeah his people's had reached out I, um uh his manager sent me a video I, I don't I'm not even sure how bro found me but uh he sent me a video at a at a uh at a Conway concert and I saw that they was playing my song Call It Out. And I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's hard. Like, I ain't never heard from none of them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they still, like, was playing my stuff at their show, so that's hard. Yeah, mad respect to them for that. That's one of my favorites, too. What, Conway? Call It Out. Oh, Call It Out. Oh, word, yeah. word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I thought, I thought, um... I thought Bank Therapy, you, I don't know if you listen, you listen to the whole, yeah, whole yeah, joint? Yeah, I thought Bank Therapy was going to do and Call It Out there. I mean, it's still, they're all fire. They're yeah, all yeah. Fire. Yeah. But I think it's. The people kind of gravitated towards Call It Out more, though, yeah. I feel like. like. I think it's because you you being real, like you saying, like, I'm going to call everything out. Like, yeah. you call it out on me, too. Word. I'm acting a certain way. Facts, and facts. if you act a certain way, I'm going to call it out on the spot. Like, people right. don't do that no more. Facts. I think that's what a lot of people are gravitating to it is because those are the people who are like, yo, we do need to do that from now on. Word, and word. It's very say, important. It's very important, bro, because yeah. it's, it's a lot of times, nine times out of ten, it's a misunderstanding going on somewhere. You know what I mean? Like you, like if you do something right now, and I just leave, and I I stop answering the phone and all that, I'd be like, I wonder why bro ain't answering the phone. But you did something, and I ain't let you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And really, whatever you did could have been nothing. It had nothing to do with me. You could have been having a bad day outside of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just really be a misunderstanding. So if you be like, yo, bro, you good? Like right now, while I'm here, yeah. then that shit can never be no problem after today. You know what I mean? So it'd be simple as that to avoid a whole big thing. Word. Indeed. Uh, so where did the name for the album come from? Uh, King Perry? Yeah. So all of my albums is um, basically me. All of my albums is basically wherever wherever I'm at at that time is is me. So like like uh like my first album, which a lot of people don't even it ain't on streaming right now though. But it's called Daisy Sun. 
That was my first album. Daisy is my mom name. Daisy's son is just me. And it was mostly about me. The next the next joint was My Name is Gus. Gus is me again. You know what I'm saying? Negus, Negus, I rap. I'm Gus. King Perry is just me again. King is, Negus is king. You know what I'm saying? Negus means king. And then Perry is just I rap backwards. You know what I mean? So King Perry. Yo, you just fucked me up. <laughs> so we're so okay. So now we gotta go back to where Negus I rap came from. Yeah, yeah. I really don't know. I ain't gonna hold. So I was actually King Perry before I was Negus I rap. You know what I'm saying? Like like uh it can, I was in this thing called U Media, bro. It's like a little team like uh program that they got. That you go there and you get a little you if you do your homework in there, then you get studio time, you know what I mean? It's at like the downtown library in Rochester and uh my one of my guy, my boy E, uh <laughs> I, we was learning, we had to learn words down there. You know, it's like you had to do little work to earn studio time. And we was talking about uh uh we was learning about Negus that day. So uh and um I think that's where it all started. Like, 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 bro was like, yo, bro, that should be your whole joint right there, bro, niggas. And I'm like, ah, uh, I wasn't with it at first, but then it started getting around. I had no name, so when we recorded down there, only thing we had was whatever they put in, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really have no, no artist name, so I used to have, like, just my song name. But, he, you know, he would just keep on punching in, yo, niggas, niggas, niggas. So everybody when they, when they go down to downtown or whatever and they plan it, they looking for Negus, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I was Negus. It kinda like chose me because it was too too many people already was kinda picking up on that name yeah. that I didn't choose. He kinda forced it on me. And then I kinda just I don't even know where the I rap came from. I don't even know. <laughs> I just started doing shit. All right, I'm Negus I rap. And then uh I don't know. One day we recording a joint. I'm like, yo, sneaky side rap. And I rap. I don't know if you peep. I be saying that before the beat drop on yeah. every joint. And then I said it only one time for real. I on like, if you listen to like, I got, a, I got my old, I got physical copies. I might drop that again though. That Daisy son. But, um, I said it only one time for real. But when, when bro was mixing the album, he took it and put it before every song. And then every time I see somebody who heard the album, they be like, and I rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, it made it my whole thing. So now I had no no choice but to keep on doing it. So every every song, I just sneak as I rap. And I rap. Yeah. That's, that's been my intro and my name ever since. That's the whole thing. No super cool backstory. It just no, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Mean, it is dope, though, because the... Like you said, if you didn't choose it, it chose you. Where? Like, everybody be like, oh, this came. Or they be giving bullshit background stories when they really went online and was like, <laughs> and it was like, oh, yes, that's my name. Word, word. Remember those shits? Mm -hmm. Choose your name. Word. Yeah, yeah. So, this, you can't, like, I like it. The background story fits. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the background to Negus, like from Rochester, like growing up in Rochester. Tell us more about that. I'm from I'm from goddamn Planet Clinton. I don't know how familiar you is with the town, but <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm from Clinton, Clinton Ave, bro. So it's um I'm from as bad as it gets, but I feel like I was like I don't know. I feel like I was just kind of there though. Like, I don't feel like whatever, how, however people handle being in the area, like, like, like a lot of people got their trauma stories, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I didn't feel nothing though. I, I just was like existing in the space. Like shit wasn't affecting me. Shit wasn't, uh, like I, like for instance, I never smoked or drank in my life, but I was surrounded by it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, I was kind of just like watching. Like I was never really interested, but I had, I did have my brother, my older brother kind of, uh, made enough mistakes for me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that his mistakes, you know what I mean, kind of helped me in a way. Not, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. I seen him do it, I seen him fuck up, and I knew I ain't want to be into that. You know what I mean? So 
I kind of stayed out the way, but like Rochester is, it, it's wild, bro. It's wild. I, I, I think to me though, bro, because I, I just started coming to Buffalo a lot more. I think we like the almost the same shit, bro. Like, Man, like. So last night I went. We went to a white party. The and like an all white party. All white party. Where, where? We, I, we were working it with my. Uh, with my uh at work yeah yeah at work basically and we're vending there and they said let's go to golden nugget and i was like hell no don't go there like i was like no don't go there do not go there yeah and they were like oh okay we're gonna listen to you and not go there i was like they were like we're about 500 pearl go there please just go there yeah 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 yo golden nugget got shot up last night word it's crazy, yeah. like, crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Like it was like you could tell. Like the one dude who said that he was going to Golden Nugget, you could tell he already had a black eye. Like he was trying to get some get back tonight or some some play. So yeah. Like, you could see it, and I was just like, you didn't see the dude had a big eyes black eye. That's crazy. And the people, the people who were saying they was about to go there, they're not from here, right? No, they're from Rochester. Oh, and word. They were, from, they were like, what about that place they were talking about, Golden Nugget? I was like, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, that's crazy. A bunch of people who, look, who are just like him in there. Uh -huh. So you know that's not going to be a good thing. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Word. That's crazy. And then you see, like, most of the people was just, like, they were older people. And then you see the few young heads, like, who were like, you could see it. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I'm just a it's, visual watcher. Yeah. I've grown up like in it. Yeah, yeah. Never been a part of anything. Word. I went to the army instead of uh, doing anything done. Like, word, I word. left the army. All my homies like started going and arrested yeah. for dumb shit. Yeah. Like, I'm like, see, this is why I'm glad I was out. Word. But it's like I, I'll be around it, so like I know when people are up to something. Word. And it's just like I was like. The vibes is cool in here. It was amazing. But you know, after 12, Facts. after there, Facts. it's over. Cause I don't even... They, it's like, you ever been to Riverworks in Buffalo? Nah. Man, it's a dope-ass venue. Oh, it's where? like right on the water. It's sweet. Okay. Um, But the security is like top-notch. Where? Like all security guards is packing. Like, they on point. Where? Crazy. So it was dope. But like once you get to like certain places in the town, it's like Rochester. Anywhere, anywhere that's hood, it's just like that. Word. You gotta be on point twenty four seven. Yeah. That's why I do not like, go out. Facts, facts. Like, it ain't it ain't hard to not. It ain't hard to like know where not to be though. Like you know what I'm saying. You yeah. see the you can see the type of people. You know what I mean. Like like certain certain vibrations just got a different talk, a different walk. You know what I mean? Like, it's not hard to see and just notice. You know what I mean? Kind of stay away from that. Yep. Word. Man, that's why I'm like, fuck. But people ruin it. It's gift ruined. I feel like. You said people what? Ruin everything in the town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Yeah, facts. Same as Rochester. Word. We, like, when, when, the, when the low vibrational crowd do get their spot, it don't last long. You know yeah. what I mean? Or they, or they get to the evade in the, the, one of the good spots. And when they when it's to get too many of them, that's gone. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that and shit crazy. Why these places, other places be so strict? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, right. They're trying to keep a certain. And it sucks, too. Because then you walk in, you get profiled. Right, right. It's like, Fuck. Yeah, I and then you like that. right, but you kind of gotta understand it though, cause it's like I could tell, cause I'm from around, I could see, I could tell who was who, you know what I'm saying? But I look just like them to 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 the other side, you yeah. know what I mean? So I I kind of understand it. It ain't right, no. but you know what I mean? Yeah. So, who are some of your favorite artists? Favorite artists? Like who you listening to right now? Uh, I've been listening to a dude named Grio Noy. Uh, uh, all time or just just to today? Like whatever, like Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper. Uh, 
Who else? Who was I just listening to? Um, I listen to a lot of me for real. I've been like, I be listening to instrumentals and shit. Like, you know what I mean? So I can't even think of who I listen to for real. I listen to Bob, Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown, probably my favorite artist of all time. Uh, man, Leon Bridges. I listen to a lot of Leon Bridges. Um. Andre 3000, a lot of Outkast. Idlewild, my favorite album, number one of all time. That's an uh, Outkast <laughs> album. Yeah, yeah, no, um, that's a fire ass album. Yeah, yeah. I need that vinyl. Yeah, I got that vinyl. It's hard. Yeah. It's, that's not easy to find, though. Um, you gotta go. But I be record shopping in different states, too. Oh, word, word. Like when we go like places, I ain't going to New York City or Atlanta, and I should have went in New York City. Word. Like, I like this. Flipping through those lines. Yeah. It's just common. Like, just even if I don't find them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. For sure. Sometimes you be finding gems and sometimes the stories don't even. Mm-hmm. I found, I found, not, um, yo, I was at, a, I was in the record store. I, I found, uh, uh, you ever heard of Claire Soul Forces? No. Or I had never heard of them, but that, the, I was just flipping through vinyls. I was in like the little hip hop area. I'm like, yo, the, the cover was so hard. I'm like, yo, I had, you know, when, when I when I go through and I'm looking at the vinyls, if I don't know what it is, but it looked dope, I get to pulling out YouTube. Let me listen to one joint. Yo, nah, and then, I don't even do that. What's that? What you do? You I just get the shit? Yeah. Or, joint Jurassic Dinosaur. Uh-huh. Bug, Jurassic Dinosaur Bug or something like that. Yo, that shit is hard as some rock. What? I be flipping through everything, bro. What? Everything, like. Anything, but like I'm not gonna lie, gospel I don't, I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. Like everything, like classic rock, like I just don't like, cause I feel like I can't be listening to gospel when I'm listening to what I listen to already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yo, some of it be fire. Like Kirk Franklin be hitting some shit. Yeah, I'm, I mess with, I mess with some, some, some. Uh, I like some, some gospel. But like, I ain't, I ain't deep, I ain't like deep in it though. I just got my picking. I, I like, I don't, I don't like mess with like no certain gospel artists or nothing yeah. like that. I just kind of just, just got my songs that I. What can I find? What? Like country albums. Yeah, my my family is on that. Is on that. They that's all they on, bro. That gospel. Yeah, you, you see, you heard, you know, on the album, I got a joint, you know, 3 a.m. for God. Yeah, yeah. Like a, a little yo, interlude. That shit was hard. Yeah, yo, bro, we was just in the living room one day, bro, and I was just like, I'm going to just hit record. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to just let them do their thing, hit record, and I used it. I got, I got like three more from that same night that I'm using on my next yeah, project. That shit had me out in goosebumps. I was like, yo, that shit's uh, like, right in the middle of it. Uh-huh. But... I wasn't listening to like West Side Gun, and then they come in the middle of it. You know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Where? Because mm-hmm. sometimes it's not like I can, I listen to everything from EDM all the way to like I don't, country is not my favorite, but I still listen to it sometimes. Where? Because now you're getting these people who was rapping, and they wasn't very good at rapping, but you can hear they had lyrics. And they had like a chin, like Jelly Roll. Like Word. the man wasn't the greatest rapper to me. I don't Word. Know. But once he switched, that shit is crazy. His fucking voice and his uh-huh. like, lyrics and everything. Or like, this was meant for you right here, bro. Or like some of these yeah. people, like, yeah. like oh, damn, that shit fire. And then now, like, there's people working with like country artists, rappers working with country artists and stuff like that. Or so, yeah. Like, I, I, they, I see they, they kind of, I seem like, I, I see it's a lot of new, like, black country artists, though. They kind of getting pushed over here a little bit, I feel like, though. Hell yeah. Like the, uh, that someone pull me up a double shot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's all hard. But it shouldn't be in our charts, though. Like, that's a, definitely a country joint. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? So they need to play that on country radio, play yo, put it on country charts. If it was on country charts, he'd probably be number one for real. You know what I'm saying? That, but that's what the fucked up issue is, too. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he a, but is he number one for the country? Let's see. I, nah, I don't think he even on the country charts. Uh. 
He going crazy though. I think as far as numbers, he'll probably be yeah, number yeah, one. Yeah, it is on country. It is? Yeah. Oh, word. I, th- I feel like I seen an article or something like a month ago or two months ago saying that he need to be on country charts or something. But they probably putting him on both. Uh, number one hits, number 10 top hits, number three songs for Billboard. Oh, he in number, number three? Yeah. Tough. And then he got another song called Spaghetti that's number 31 right now. That's hard. Just came out a year ago. He got a song with fucking um, Beyonce. I did not know that. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. But it only charted, it was 61 weeks. Or 61. I don't know. That's, but yeah, again, they putting them on hip hop charts. It's crazy. Or. That's like you know you gonna put that I means you gotta put jelly roll on hip hop charts too. Nah, they ain't gonna do that though. Because he was rapping. Facts, facts. <laughs> yeah. That means you gotta put um what's his name? The other dude from Hootie and the Blowfish. Not familiar. Uh Daryl Ruckus. Oh no. Yo, yeah, yo, so check this out. Hootie and the Blowfish name is, is Daryl Ruckus or something like that. Hootie and the Blowfish. This dude, this Hootie and the Blowfish, he used to sing, uh, like, I think it was country like, artist? He used to be rock and now it's oh. country. Oh, word. I ain't never heard of him. Yeah. Word. You know, he's like one of the top fucking artists. He's been out for like, Hootie and the Blowfish was out from 1986 to 2008. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then he went, and then he went country. Crazy. <laughs> but some people are just like, that's in their roots too. That's what they grew up on. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I could do this too. Or, this is what made me famous, and I switched to this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think people, a lot of people, get caught up in the ways too. That's how they be falling off, trying to trying to like master some shit that's going on right now. And by the time they get, they spend all their days trying to copy that sound, you know what I'm saying? By the time they get it right, that shit ain't even it no more, you know what yeah. I mean? So now all their career, they just chasing away. Oh, this popping? Let me try to get on this. They not good at it yet, but then they keep on trying. And by the time they get good, that shit gone. Now they get back at the beginning, you know what I mean? Yeah. I kind of just stuck to my shit and waited. You know what I mean? Like, like I've been doing, like, you can go as, as far back as you want. You ain't gonna see no switch up, bro. I mean, this is me. Yeah. And it's the thing, it's not a wave. This is not a wave right now. It's just it's just me, and this is what it's gonna be, you know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm kinda like, I'm happy that people catching on to this. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause if it didn't, I don't know. I don't know. This is a great time, too, I feel like. I feel like I, w- I haven't been ready all my life, but I feel like I'm ready now, you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't ready. I just wasn't, I wasn't smart enough. I didn't, I didn't lose enough at the, at, you know what I mean? Like it couldn't, if two years ago, I would have been a little more dumber. Not, 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 I don't know. I just, I just know I wasn't ready though, but I feel, I feel ready now. When I dropped that album, you know what I'm saying? Me and my brother was tough, you know, talking about it. Like, yo, it's, it's really time, bro. Like this is, you know what I mean? And I felt that because I've never felt like that. You know what I mean? Like, like I feel like it with this one, though. So I'm, I'm really happy that uh, everybody kind of gravitated towards this one. I needed that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I needed people to understand. Like, I, on, on the good, on the intro for the joint, I, I, I was saying, like, I love when y'all buy this stuff, but I would love it more if y'all listen. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like people listening. Like I had, I had I like over since I dropped since I dropped the album to to now, it's probably over a hundred DMs 
of everybody telling me their story. Like, yo, bro, I had this happen to me when I was ah, ah, and this happened, ah, ah. So when you said this, I felt like, you know what I mean? It was like, yo, like, I know that. I mean, you know, I know I ain't nobody. But like, it just be like, yo, I be feeling like, yo, I did that for you. Like, you, you feel like I helped you with that. And I'm really nobody, but to them, it's like, yo, that's hard, bro. Like, I feel like I feel like that that mean you made it. That's made it for me. Yeah. Like, like, yo, I made you not do this no more. I made you want to do this better. That's hard to me, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you also got to remember you are somebody. You a dad, you you a lot more than facts, you facts. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you you've gone through shit. Well, like they sometimes people feel like, yo, damn, is somebody even like feeling like they're going through it? Yeah. And that's what music I feel like for me, that's what music is, is the therapy. Word. Because like I figured the only way to get past trauma is through music. And then like certain music drops. That's why I felt like at one point in time, Logic was my favorite artist. But it was only because he got me through situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like you get through those situations and you're like, oh yeah, I like this artist. And they become, that's why people get so attached. Yeah. But like, I have this like, no attachment type thing. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I've been to war and shit like that. So that shit is just, Word. I could just get past it. So it's like, I got, and it's like, now I'm just focused on like, artists is like, as artists more than what the words done for me. Right, right. Word. I feel that. But it's like, that shit is the dopest fuck to see, like, get a message and be like, yo, you did this for me. Yeah. Like, I got, word. Oh, when you talked about this on there, it's like, oh, damn, people is watching. Right, right. And they listening, more importantly. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They hear you. That's 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 a great feeling, bro. That's a great feeling. Word. Like, what, so what made you start doing music? Where did the love of music come from? I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I couldn't give you like a, a time or a date or, or a situation that did it. I think, I think, um, I think it was real organic though. You know what I mean? Like I don't remember not doing it. You know what I mean? Like it, it was, it was everywhere. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hearing it every day. So I'm not sure. Like what actually? Like what was the moment that made me say like, oh, I want to be a rapper? I kind of just, as time went on. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I was, I don't know. I don't know. I will say, I know what made me write my first rap, though. I had a situation that made me write my first rap, but it didn't make me say, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like I was kind of an artist before then, but I, it's this dude named Hassan Mackey, bro. Legendary. And uh, uh, at the t you know, just like sixth grade or something. I, I don't know. You know what I'm I don't know. I don't know, bro, at the time. I've never met him. I never even heard of him at the time. But we used to have these little MP3 players, bro. <laughs> like a little pill, you know, like like a, but the, the name of the songs go across the street, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? But it's yeah. no album cover on that bitch, though. But yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, and there's a dude named Ozzy, bro, that I went to school with. He used to put the uh the songs on the on the uh on there for you because niggas ain't know how to put the songs on there. So you give him five dollars, he give you know what I'm saying, what album you want, he put it on there for you. And bro, I don't know if I don't know if the MP3s got switched up, but I know I was trying to get Tiger album at the time. And bro brought me back the joint at the time. I never heard Tiger though. I don't know what Tiger sound like. I don't know what it is. I just know that Lil Wayne said to get his album. So I'm getting the album, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he brought back the MP3s and I'm listening. The songs don't got no joint. It says track one, then it got random letters and then it say something.com, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who I'm listening to, but in my mind it's Tiger's new album. And I'm just like, yo, I've never heard a sound like this. Like, yo, this is Tiger, this is crazy, you know what I mean? And I'm just rapping it every day. You know what I mean? And then one day we had a little, a little battle. Well, not really a battle, but ciphering in the, you know what I mean? In the cafeteria, you know, they used to beat on the table or whatever. And I get this spitting and I, <laughs> I stole his song, Mackie shit, bro. 
I got this fit and bro shit, and the nigga was like, yo, hold on. That's a sign Mackie. And I'm thinking he bluffing. Like, I'm like, I did steal this shit, but he thinking it's a sign Mackie, but I know that it's Tiger to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then uh he like, yo, I play it right now. He pull it up on the you little YouTube. I'm like, oh shit, this is a sign Mackie. I didn't even know. But I done got embarrassed and I went home. And I told myself I'm never going to steal nobody raps again. And and then I just started writing. But I just wanted to be the best at the table, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had, I, which I I think I was the best at the table. I was using my own, my own raps, but I didn't have a lot of raps. So when I ran out of them bitches, I got this, I went to last resort, stole some Hassan Mackey shit, got caught. I would never get caught doing that again. So I've been writing my own raps ever since. But I don't know if that's what, you know what I'm saying? I don't know when I say I want to be a rapper. I try to just wanted to be the best at the table. Right. And then the best after that, I don't know. Once once there's no more table, I still want to be the best. You know what I'm saying? So I just kept wanting to be the best, keep sharpening my sword. And just, I don't know, working on that. But I guess that might be the story. That could have been the start of it, Hassan, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Hassan Mackie. Hassan Mackie. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look him up. Yeah, yeah. Legendary, man. Word. Because you thought it was Tiger. Uh, yeah, for real. When I heard Tiger, I'm like, damn, I'm happy. Yo, it's crazy because I would have probably been a whole different person if it was Tiger. If I got the right joint back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he gave me Tiger. I probably would have been a whole different human, a whole different artist. Because, like, I, I was rapping. I was just rapping, like, rhyming words but it was no no style to it no type of it was nothing to it I was just rhyming words I think I think Hassan Mackey was probably like the blueprint of this is how you format a song this is how you you know what I'm saying this is how you do this and so I Man. think that was probably how I don't know Man, now I gotta go look back to beginning Tiger cause you know he switched up his whole this whole format and style. Oh, word. I never got into Tiger. <laughs> I never got into Tiger. I think I still tried to get, I think I still tried to get into it after that. But I had already like, you know, Hassan Mackey was more like the boom bap sound. And I had already like, that was the sound I wanted now. So to me, if it wasn't lyrically like, in that same room, I couldn't even listen no more. So once I try to get to Tiger, I'm like, ah, back to this. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah, happy it happened just, that way, though. It's just like some artists is just lyrical. Yeah, but he, like, I feel like there was a point in time where he was like, that's when, like, he was trying to do, like, some lyrical, like uh, Lil Wayne did. Yeah, yeah. Like in mixtapes and stuff. Yeah. But like, it's still like he do something better just doing the the party stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He just party stuff, like yeah, killing it because it like yeah he had like a, a like a dip and then it came boom. Mm -hmm. Yo, he pop up every once in a blue moon or something crazy though. Yeah, yeah. like he be. But his music is. Just streaming, and then, yeah, yeah. You know, after you, when you first get that first check, it's smart to like. I think it would be smart to like invest it. Or because yeah, that shit. After after that, it's like you just gotta make your money on your own. I feel like these these big artists is not making like the money we think off of streams. Yeah, or, I, not at all, bro. Not. It's all coming from other fucking places. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I be. I don't know, man. I. I don't think a lot of like a lot of these artists is making no, no money at all, bro. It's not a lot of money in it. It's not. It's not a lot of money in it. I feel like I'm at a point in my, like I. Think, I think this. Whole, the whole shit is fake, and I'm. I think I'm at a point in my career where I could fake it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, but the reality of it is, I ain't got it. To fake, you know what I'm saying? I could, I could, I could look it and tell you, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, it's a lot of, you, you close doors doing that. <laughs> you close doors doing that. Nah, I need you to know I need this. You know what I mean? Yeah. People will feel comfortable taking from you because they think you got so much of it. Yeah. And that ain't, that ain't, 
Yeah. As soon as you get it, they try to take it. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants a piece of it. Word. I'm your cousin. Yo, bro, I, I'm, I'm trying to, yo, bro, I got that going on right now, and I'm not even... You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy, bro. I got that going on right now, bro. Just because of what they see. Yeah. Like they, see, they see the wins. They see music. They yeah. See, uh, like, people posting you. Right, so, right. Oh, because you're getting posted and people are listening to you. You got to be getting paid. Now. Right, right. That means, that means you, you, are, you signed. Yeah. Nah. Yo, bro, I'm getting, you know, like, like I'm getting paid now. You know what I'm saying? But like not enough. Like like I mean, I, like you know, for where I'm at, I think I you know I, I just need to go up a little bit more. I'm not getting paid where I could take care of somebody else, yeah. or like you know what I mean. I'm getting paid enough to take care of my family. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about my household. That is, yeah. you know what I mean. So I had to I had to make that clear before I get some more cousins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but also, congratulations on the new baby. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Dope. Appreciate it, baby boy. Man, how was it? Being oh, yo, that's dope. Cause now you got a girl and a boy. Uh huh. Yo. Yeah. I wanted that, and then I got five boys. Five boys? Yeah. What? That's hard though. It is. But that's tough. In that's ways. yo five boys. That's the one that you just seen. Yeah. Is like. God, That's the he, youngest? Yeah. How Word. Yeah, he is wild. Yeah, that's what I wanted, bro. I wanted that. I wanted that. I, but I got the girl first, and I was just like, you know what? We just going to keep on popping them out until we get a boy. And I got the boy on the first go, so I think I might be done, though. Yeah, that's a joke. Man. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. What's your favorite part about being a dad? My favorite part? I don't know. It can get better. I don't even know, bro. It's 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 like it's it's. I don't even know. I don't know. What's, I love all of it, bro. It's not no. It's not no, bad, it's not no bad parts. People be trying to front like, yo, yeah. The only thing is this. It don't be no bad parts, bro. I love the whole thing, bro. Like like um. Oh, no. Over these last couple of days, though, my like you know, cause the, the baby only been here what two two days, three days. And my, my 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 girl, my baby girl, been acting weird though. Like she been acting strange. Like she been acting like a baby. Have that ever happened to you with your, with yours? Yeah. Yo, so be, it's because she. So I feel like it's their mindset is thinking like, oh, they're giving the baby more attention. Mm. So like, oh, if I act like a baby, they'll give me attention too. Or, but how old is she? Th- uh, four. Oh yeah, 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 that's for sure. Yeah. That's like when my. Uh, daughter, because I, I have a, a daughter, but it's non biological. Okay, so okay, she, when she uh, was like, she was like four years old when my son was born. Uh-huh. And when and like, start acting like she can't yeah, talk she as good like, and stuff. She was like, go, go, go. I'm like, yeah, go. like, what is that? Like, word for real. And I was like, no, but like, but at that time I was still young too, so I was like, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. But like my my son uh-huh. Julian, when we had Luca, he started like being like mean. It Word. Was, like, mean. Like I don't want to be around. Like I don't want to take a picture with him. Uh, crazy. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. And then now they're like best friends. Crazy. And it's like. They're just like feeling some type of way. You, you got you got a favorite part? I think it's just like being able to watch them grow. Yeah, yeah. Like just watching them. Like yeah, I, I I feel like I feel like yo, I'm you know I look at my my daughter today, bro, and I be feeling like I've missed something. Like I've been there every day. But it feel like I feel like she skipped age three or something. Like when did she get this big? Like I don't remember the process of her getting. You know what I mean? It's just being because you you feel you see him every day. So it's yeah. like every day it's like it's. I noticed in the hospital like I, like when I was holding the new baby. Oh, yeah. I'm like, hold on. I thought my I thought my daughter was close to a baby. Like look at how big she is. Yeah. Like that just, time really be skipping, bro. Like. Yeah, cause look at my house, like yo, damn, like I can remember him just coming home. Mm-hmm. He's already two, 
Yeah. Like, and next Crazy. And it's just like that, bro. <laughs> Yo, cause I have my my daughter and my oldest son are both thirteen. Like, yeah, I, it's wild to me. Yeah, your 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 favorite part is my worst part, bro. Like, I don't. Yo, I mean, I, I, it's, that, that, it's it kind of gave it gave me it gave me like a Yo, like a little is. heart attack. Like, it is the was, worst part. It's the best and the worst part word. because like. You're watching them grow. You're seeing the mold and mm-hmm. like everything like that. But then, like, you're like still scared because yeah. like every day I'd be like, "Yo, damn! I pray nothing happens to my children." Right? Because you see TV and what's going on, uh-huh. you see things happening, and you're like, "Yo, I just pray like it's all good." Word. So what? What's next for for you right now? Music wise, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I'm. I'm. Uh, trying to finish this project. So I had a I had an EP that I was doing right called Not For Nothing. It was about done, but I, I kind of like, I dumped the budget. I, I, uh, <laughs> I had a budget for the, for, the, for the EP, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, I, and I, at the last minute, I canceled the EP. Just, this just a week ago, I canceled the EP. And I'm, I'm gonna still put out all the songs. But I'm gonna put them out as singles, like you know, drop one here, drop one there. Yeah. Cause I'm working on the album, so it's kind of like a sorry for the wait situation. But I, I only had a budget for one project. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no even today. I don't have a budget for the album. I'm working on the album right now. You know what I'm saying? It's coming out of pocket. But I mean, like the budget don't really start until the album is done and out. You know what I'm saying? That's when the budget kick in. That's what you need a budget for a promotion and all of that. I don't have a budget for that right now, but what I did was um, I just bought the the vinyls. I just I invested my budget for the EP. I I, I got uh, merch and vinyls instead, because when I did the first merch, like I the first time I ever did merch, I only got like thirty shirts or something. You know what I'm saying? Because I just didn't feel like you know I I'm, I didn't know who was going to buy it or whatever. It sold, you know. But I, pro- I probably still had a couple shirts left. This is way back though. Uh, and this, when I, I the King Perry joints was my second time doing merch. And I'm like, you know, like, let me just get like 50 shirts. They, you know what I'm saying? They might sell one day, bro. Kid you not, gone. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I dropped the merch. And I'm just like, yo, maybe the people might want to, because I ain't got no budget for my album. Maybe the fans might want to support and be like, yo, let me get this so we can get that. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you buy a shirt. That's going to help me really get this joint off the ground. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if I put out that, if I put out that EP and had that bit, that little bitty budget, bro, it would have been like, I, w- I put out another project. That's cool. But it wouldn't have like, it wouldn't have took me to the next level. It's not better than King Perry. It's the, like the quality just wasn't equal, and I don't I don't want to go backwards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just have the same budget that I had before or or better. So I don't want to go backwards. So I just re, I'm reinvesting in it right now. So as I wait, we're just gonna keep on giving them these singles as I work on this album. So when that album ready, it's gonna be time. But I I, I want to have it out. I want to have the album done this year though. But I want to drop it top of the year though. You know what I mean, yeah. uh, but right now we got Rory album coming out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm on. I'm on that. And that's dope. But like, you are also building with like the King Perry too. Facts. Because like you said, it's been every month. has been more and more. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, didn't it, like the first two months? It was like how many streams did it hit? That's <laughs> bad. It was sad, but now nah, it, it probably was like. It probably was a good like five thousand streams first two months, you know. Nah, first month actually, I'm tripping. Second month was decent. Second month was decent. First month I probably had like. Nah, I'm tripping. Yeah, first two months five thousand. It was about five thousand. That's that's you know through all of the songs type yeah. shit. So it was about five thousand. But the second month I think we did like, I want to say we did like good fifteen. Like that was like a you know what I'm saying from the yeah. first month to the second month. But I think we did like a good twenty the next month after that, bro. Yeah. So so that was a ex- exciting little ride. I kept thinking like, okay, that was dope. That was King Perry, and then I get online and shit. Well, hundred new followers. What's going on? You know what I said? Oh, this person shared it. That's tough. And then it just kept happening like that. 
and we a little over a hundred right now, hundred K. So, you know what I'm saying? So you said earlier, like you talk about what's going on. So what was your creative like outlook and everything on during this album? Like on like the process of making it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have I have no uh um like when I when I go into making the album, I don't have a storyline or nothing. Like I don't say this album gonna be about this. You know what I'm saying? Like I kinda just and everything like that. Yeah, no concept. No concept. It ties together because it's my real life. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 real things. That's the only right reason why I feel like you kind of going on a ride with me, and it feel like all the songs is connecting. But it's just cause it's real. That's all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just I I just experience. I just I don't know. I don't really be going into it with no. I got to start it off with one of these. And then I gotta finish with you know what I mean, but I do see patterns though. I'm not gonna hold. I see patterns like I I I, I um like I got my name is Gus. That that's the um and then I got King Perry, but I see like I did the same not intentionally, but I see that like kind of the songs is similar in the same order. You know what I mean? Like 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 um like I got Mr. Yami and then I got a joint. Uh, called Giant on um, on uh, My Name is Gus and they like similar Mr. Yami is like an alter ego you know what I'm saying it's like a, a, a character that I bring out every once in a while and it's me it's still me it's just a different sound Sim- like you know like not, not different but uh, more intense a little crazy you know what I'm saying like a like a it's like a me with you know you know the movie mask yeah. it's like mask Mr. Yami is like me with the mask and that's that's what it feel like and that comes out at least once on every project you know what I'm saying yeah. and I know there's people be waiting for that for that Yami track and I feel like officially my first one might have been a uh, this drink called onion head that's from Daisy Sun though that's from when I was like 16 17. But uh, ever since he's been coming back, and I think uh, I don't know. I kind of try to incorporate that in my albums. That's the only thing that I do intentionally. Like, 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 like this is the album, and this is a break. Everybody, look, this is Mr. Yami back to the album. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like I'm just gonna play. It's a beat. It's a funky beat. A nice little high, maybe high tempo. And and I just walk on that shit, slide on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just really try to murder that beat and just I don't know, try to really just perform. You know what I mean? And uh, that's it though. That's the only thing I do intentionally on albums. Other than that, I, it, however it comes. Does that one have a video? Mr. Yami, nah. nah that shit was hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be tough. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Cause it's not too late. It's not too late. I feel like when your shit's still growing, it's, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. I kind of was. You said you waiting for the whole thing. Yeah. Do shorts or like videos. I, 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 you know, the original plan was to promote the album for two months. I, I feel like after that, it's old. You know what I'm saying? But obviously not. It's been new to a lot of people every day. So, yeah. so yeah, yeah. I think I think that Mr. Yami might be worth it. I think we're going to get that done. Almost a year ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And it still gets played. Word. I'm like, word. New people listening to it every day. Word. Thumbing it up. And I'm like, thumbing up the song. And I'm like, sweet. Word. That's hard. And all these artists. Yeah. I think, I think number three is going to have to come out. I saw it for that. What? I want to drop another mixtape. What's it called? So it's a spaced out uh, mixtape. Okay, so okay. Volume one was hip hop, and I did volume two was EDM. Okay. And I still have side A of EDM. I'm gonna have to drop side B, but I don't want to yet. Mm. Side B, I wanted to do a whole different concept with the EDM, but I still want to drop a whole nother, uh, another hip hop out um, mixtape. Word, word. But this time, I think I want to do it different and like do the beats and everything. Like, get the beats. Oh, you produce? No, but I was, yo, my homie said that, yo, if I like just try it, and I was like, 
And he's like, if not, then you go buy the beat. Yo, my boy, yo, shout out my boy, no offense, bro. Yo, my boy just started making beats, bro. <laughs> he just, he nice out the gate, bro. And I'm just like, yo, what really is it to it? You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, bro. You probably will go crazy on the beats, yo. you know what I mean? Yo, and it's like, it's all around, like, all the time. But, yeah. like, even if not, like, there's, I know all these producers from all these different places. Word. That you can lease a beat. Yeah, yeah. Get someone. To, then you go get an artist that I've done a podcast with. Yeah. And get them to do a song on it. Yo, so you get a couple on the on the song that you. I know this too though. Once you start like putting work in and like like, not saying people are trying to use you, but like, nobody want to work with nobody that ain't working. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it kind of can feel like people trying to use you, but it's just you putting in work. That's what makes people want to work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you inspire somebody, they want to work with you. You're not inspiring nobody when you're at home doing nothing. Yeah. But I notice when you when you start getting a little traction, like the producers just want to give you the beat. Yeah. Like, yo, bro, I, I'll pay you to rap on this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's been a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? I make sure everybody, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, get taken care of, but it's it's funny how that worked, bro. Like, so I, I I feel like if you had to, you ain't even gotta get no. You ain't gotta even buy a beat. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could just use they beat, and you using they beat is going. It's how they gonna eat because everyone gonna be like, yo, who what's this beat that niggas rapping on? Who made this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now they making their money off of you using their beat. I didn't understand that until you know what I'm yeah, saying, my that's, guy. That's what I was feeling like doing instead, like actually creating something. Like Word. instead, like I created before, but this time like creating it deep. Like, word, word. Where it's like I chose this beat for you to rap on with this person. I feel like this would be good. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I just want to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to create art. Word. It's art. Like, Word. Yeah, I... Oh, this is art. I, um, uh, so I got a, I got a, um, like, like my old, like Daisy Sun and stuff mm -hmm. like that. My, those, those were not, like, it was an album technically because I called the album. I put it out as an album. It just wasn't, a real album because I was rapping about being a rapper on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I had a little moment where I was like, I was saying I was, you know, because I was real cocky. I had a, like, it's crazy. I was cocky when nobody knew who I was. You know what I mean? But it was like, yo, I used to be like, yo, who better than me? Who want to try it? You know what I'm saying? Just calling anybody out. And I was just, then uh, somebody left a comment on my, on my joint. And they like, yo, like, can you rap about you? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, what you mean? Like, and I realized, yo, all of my songs on that album was about me being the best, the best rapper. It was no real, you couldn't really feel it. But I think I was kind of like scared, not scared. I don't know. I, I wasn't sure because people reacted to those good raps so good that I didn't want to change it. I needed my friends to like it. You know, I needed that lunch table to, to, to know that I'm the best. And I feel like I just was trying to display my my lyrical abilities in there. And I took it to the to the booth and I and I and I was trying to do the same thing when it don't work like that. You only need one of those songs, which is like a Mr. Yami. You only need one of those to say like I'm able to do this. You know what I'm saying? And the rest just do it wherever, however you feeling it. Like you 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 know what I mean? So if, I be letting it out on there now, and I and it's funny because those are the ones that like people gravitate to, even though them was the ones I wouldn't even put out before I recorded and keep it to myself. But it's like people love a lot has happened, you know. That, that's the outro for that for the album. People love the good raps. Before I wouldn't even yeah, have put like, nothing. It's your daughter in that. Yeah, yeah. That shit word. And it's like yo, people. That's the ones. That's what the ones I get all the DMs about. Like yeah. yo, they they relate to that. So people want your. People want your real, your, your pain on there. You know what I'm saying? They want to feel like, oh, I'm just like him. You know what I'm saying? Or I could do what, you know what I mean? So I, I think that that's important for, 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 for these albums, man. Like, they, I feel like that's what make it an album. That's what make it feel like one. You know what I'm saying? Make people feel like they're going on that ride with you, which they kind of are. You know what I mean? Because this is, this, the journey still continuing, you know? So I, I, I end all my, all my albums, I end with a, uh, with uh, 
that that just a, a, a recap of everything that's happened with me between y'all hearing this album right now and 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 the last album. You get what I'm saying? So like I got a lot has happened at the end of this one, and then I got before I leave on the, as the outro before. You know what I'm saying on the on the album before that, and all it is is recaps. So this was been going on with me. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I'm going I'm to try to keep that one going because you got me thinking right now about how do I piece these albums together. You know what I'm saying? I never really thought about it. I kind of yeah. just do it. But I think I, I think some stuff, some some elements I got to keep and just take it to the next uh, uh, to the next album. So I think I'm going to keep that going, though. The whole the whole like recap of, yeah. of this has been going on with me thing. Do you have any events or anything coming up? I got uh, I got the um. The Dreamcatcher Festival with uh, West Side Boogie. Yep. I yeah. Yeah. So, that. so that's gonna be crazy. I got the I got the uh, I got a dream in Rochester they too. Said Sauce Walker gonna be there too. Yeah, yeah. Sauce Walker. I'm, I actually never heard of him, but I'm excited to meet him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I love Sauce. Word. Yo, he he get yo deep in his raps too. Word. I, 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 I just know it's gonna yo. I, I was happy to ask me, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, used, I, I'm yeah. one of the headliners. Like yo, that's hard, bro. Like I don't know what made them choose me, but I'm blessed, bro. I'm happy. I've been getting lucky all year, so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put on the show, you know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited for that, yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, August thirty first. Oh, yeah, I think it's this way. I think it's closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Oh, it's yeah. Like more in the, uh, it's on the reservation, I think. Word, word. So, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't check the fire. Did you see it? Yeah, that's exciting, though. The sauce swap is on the well, West Side Boogie is one of my favorites, yeah. too. Like, yeah. I love West Side um, Boogie. Devin Childs. Yo, mm-hmm. that dude is fire. Word. Yeah. Word. It's yeah. a it's a dope ass lineup. I was like, yeah, yeah, man, I'm ready for that. Uh, I got, I'm, 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 I'm trying to, I'm thinking about doing like an anniversary show for King Perry, uh, because it's gonna be one year in August. Uh, August 25th would be that would be that would be making one year. Yep. So I'm thinking I might do an anniversary show for that, and um, yeah, I think that'd be a nice little joint. Yeah, that's the move. I think that's the move. That's the move. I, I did. I did. You know, my first, my first, uh, my first time headlining was the first King Fury show, the release show. I don't know if you saw the footage from that, but we uh, we had that at Water Street. We sold out. I was I was scared. That was another one of the moments where I put in my last little dollars. And I'm like, yo, people got to come. Where I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and it worked out. So the so that was great, man. I'm uh. I've been getting paid <laughs> ever since, you know what I'm saying, for shows. You know, not like nothing crazy, but I'm just happy that I can make money off of it. I think that um, when you get like, like I'm nothing crazy. I'm getting probably like 500 a show right now, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I think what the, even it's not life changing, but it's like it puts you in a different situation as far as the way you could create. I feel like I could create better. When I have to worry about the music, when I'm in a situation where me making music is how I'm gonna get that next one, is it, it make me be able to create better? Cause I don't gotta worry about, man, I might get fired from my job if I go do this show. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta do that show or I ain't gonna pay this rent. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I, I it's, it's just better, bro. Like like I don't know. It's easier to to create when 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 what you create is feeding you. you know what I mean, I, it's, and 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 when you loving what you create, when you loving what you doing, that's it make it that much better. You know what I mean, you excited to go to work. You know what I mean, so that's a it's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing. I hope it keep coming. J Electronica, yo, shout out to J Electronica, bro. You know. I love Dre, J. You know you familiar, right? Yeah. yeah, I love J. Electronica, bro. He want me to be on his album. You know he don't work with nobody. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, that's a that's a that's you know I got I had a lot of wins. You know a little little wins uh, on the way, but I feel like this one is one of them ones. That's a moment. Like this is really like a it's happening. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like yo. I think that 
this could be one of them things where where I don't know. Like I notice after every win, everybody try to like credit your whole career that you know or your whole all your results to that one win. Like 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 when Rory posting, oh yeah, he don't oh that's the dude he, you know he popping off the Rory shit. You know what I'm saying? But they just really gonna always say whatever was the last thing. And I feel like Jay Electronica's might that 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 album might be one of those things. Or like, oh yeah, that's the that's the dude. He popping up the Jay Electronica album. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't think it's no no one no one win that could that, that could credit the everything. Up, yeah, yeah, it's all the just just steps, bro. But I'm super excited for that one, bro. Like like that's that's tough to me, bro. Nah, when five, I five. when yo uh um uh, me being on Rory album is what caused that what caught you know what I mean? Rory hit me like five AM. I was like, yo, Jay Electronica said he wants you on the album, you know what I'm saying? It, they recorded in Mexico, so that's it, you know what I'm saying? Like that's gonna be tough too. Like, yeah, that's hard, bro. I can't I can't even I don't even know. I don't know like how I get so lucky for real, bro. Cause I can't you know I me. Mean? This yeah. is just a couple months ago. Like I would have been ecstatic about 500, you know what I'm saying? 500 streams. You know what I mean? Like, or even meeting a person that'd be like, yo, you niggas like rap, bro. You know, when you drop this, ah, uh, uh, that's tough to me. Like every, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm home, you know what I mean? Like I go, if we go to Tops right now in Rochester or Walmart, it's gonna be somebody at every one of them to say, yo, niggas, yo, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I need you to do this, bro. You really like, you know what I mean? They got a whole story to tell me. And I, I just, I love it. I love it, though. That's hard. That's how it make me feel like I said something. Like, they, they remember what I said, you know what I mean? It's, it's different when somebody say, oh, I fuck with your shit. That's cool. That's it. Don't give you the same feeling. But when no. they coming to you and they telling you what you said, it's like, oh shit, they listen. Like that, that, that stayed in their head. As soon as they saw me, they remembered it. You know what I mean? Not no, yo, what's your what's your name again, bro? Ah, you ain't fucking with the music. You know what I said? People would tell you that all day. Like, I was just listening to your shit. What song? Yeah. They can't tell you the name of a song, but I fuck with them too. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with everybody who fuck with my shit. But it hit different when they be like, yo, when you said a lot of you know what I'm saying, they get the rap in your legs, it hit different. And and that's and that's what's it's been a lot of that lately, yo. I love it every time. So every, when y'all see me, rap my shit for me real quick. Like you hear that. What part you like? Word. I love it. Uh, yeah. I love it. Appreciate you. You want them to tell the folks anything before we get out of here? Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Hundred percent. Make sure you go like, subscribe, do all that cool shit. We'll catch you on the next one, y'all. Peace. Yeah. It's the worst.